Turner, the immigration barrister at Imperium Chambers, and talk to you about a, a, a different subject, but one that I'm going to be talking about a lot more in the near future, which is those that uh, has to do with the right to work. Now, I'm not talking about necessarily those that have um, letters or bowel variations that have granted them the right to work. I'm talking about individuals that actually enjoy Section 3C leave and are permitted to work in the United Kingdom. Now, there's an organisation called Right to Work Limited. They do fantastic work in seeking to bring this issue to light. Though at the moment, this is an issue that, that, that is bubbling away, as it were, under the surface um, and doesn't seem to have attracted the same attention as the TOEIC issues or indeed the Balagajari litigation, but probably affects quite a number of people. As to how many and as to how far, um, this will become apparent as, uh, as we look into this further. Um, the short point is that the number of employers um, obviously cautious about employing people illegally because of the potential penalties and what have you, have been dismissing people on Section 3C leave. And disturbingly, um, the Employment Tribunal, which would appear to have limited knowledge of immigration law, or perhaps the representatives don't uh, understand the interplay between Section 3C of the 1971 Act and uh, the right to work live in the United Kingdom, uh, have been dismissing appeals, saying that it's, it's all okay, it's not unfair to dismiss somebody who's on Section 3C leave, essentially on the basis of their immigration status. Now, in my view, and in law, that is wrong. The reason and the whole purpose of Section 3C is to enable those that have made applications prior to the expiry of the visa and due to the sloth of the, uh, sloth of the Home Office to continue to enjoy leave as they did before, enjoying all the rights they did before until the application is decided and any appeal, if there is an appeal, is concluded. So it doesn't make any, it's not lawful to turn around, in my view, and sack somebody who's on Section 3C leave when the law expressly states that those that are on Section 3C leave are in the United Kingdom as if they had the same status as they enjoyed before. It simply bemused me and horrified me that employers were, were so scared, given the government's attitude and given the government's hostility, that they're actually dismissing people that are perfectly entitled to work in the United Kingdom. What's more, even more disturbing is that the Employment Tribunal um, has endorsed these dismissals, which has caused great suffering to uh, obviously the individuals and their families, um, putting the, uh, their livelihoods at stake and making it that much harder to um, seek alternative employment whilst the application is pending. Indeed, the termination of the employment may affect the application that is pending in itself. So there's a lot of issues that need to be addressed. Um, Employment Appeal Tribunal have, on occasion, when the matter has reached them, and it's a lot harder to get to the Employment Appeal Tribunal than it is to get to the Upper Tribunal in the Immigration and Asylum Chamber, um, have uh, endorsed the correct approach um, and have chastised the um, uh, Employment Tribunal for their uh, limited uh, and I say that with the greatest respect, limited knowledge of uh, uh, Im immigration law and its interplay with employment law. Um, I, I don't see how somebody who has the right to work in the United Kingdom can be lawfully dismissed just because the Home Office are taking a long time to decide their application. But that appears to be the picture, or at least it appears at first blush to be the picture. Um, as I say, the organisation Right to Work Limited, which you'll find on my Twitter link, do an excellent job. Um, I've been in contact with them. I intend to do more with them. I think they do a fantastic job and I think they should be supported, um, even though this is a uh, an issue that hasn't really attracted the same attention or it hasn't attracted the same press um, as people on TOEIC or Balagajari. Um, that's something that, that I'll do my level best to address um, and hopefully with their help um, we can deal with matters. Um, on a more uh, 
basic level, um, I have a grasp of the relevant issues. And if you have an immigration problem, or a member of your family has an immigration problem, please not hesitate to contact me, Paul Turner, the immigration barrister, at uh, or, or on to 0207 242 or at clarks at imperiumchambers.uk um, or on my site, the immigration barrister. I'd also be grateful if you would subscribe and hit the notification button. I believe it's something to do with YouTube, but I'm not that technically familiar, um, as that will help spread the message. And this is a message that needs to be spread. Um, thank you very much for watching this short broadcast. There will be more on this subject as more comes to light or as more work is done on it. Um, but once again, thank you very much for your time. This has been Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers.